Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the last video, we discussed the synthetic anti-tubercular agents. Click on the i button on top right of this video to watch it. See the description for the links of other topics of organic chemistry. In this lesson, we shall learn the anti-tubercular antibiotics such as rifampicin, rifabutin and cycloserine. The antibiotics used in the treatment of tuberculosis include rifampicin, rifabutin, cycloserine, streptomycin and capriomycin. In this lesson, we shall discuss the first three drugs such as rifampicin, rifabutin and cycloserine. The first drug of this lesson is rifampicin. Rifampicin was discovered in 1965, marketed in 1968 and approved in 1971. Rifampicin is also known as rifampin. It is a polyketide belonging to the chemical class of compounds termed ansamycins. Ansamycins are unique in their structures which comprises of an aromatic moiety bridged by an aliphatic chain. In the structure of rifampicin, the heterocyclic naphthoquinone core spanned by an aliphatic chain. The naphthoquinonic chromophore gives rifampicin its characteristic red-orange crystalline color. The critical functional groups of rifampicin in its inhibitory binding of bacterial RNA polymerase are the four critical hydroxyl groups of the ANSA bridge and the naphthol ring which form hydrogen bonds with amino acid residues on the protein. Rifampicin is the 3,4-methyl-1-piperazinyl immunomethyl derivative of rifamycin SV. Synthesis Rifampicin is obtained by reacting 3-formyl rifamycin SV with 1-amino-4-methyl piperazine in tetrahydrofuron. It is a reddish brown to brownish red crystalline powder, slightly soluble in water. It is stored in tightly closed light resistant containers in an atmosphere of nitrogen and a temperature not exceeding 25 degrees. Rifampicin inhibits bacterial DNA-dependent RNA synthesis by inhibiting bacterial DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Crystal structure data and biochemical data suggest that rifampicin binds to the pocket of the RNA polymerase beta subunit within the DNA or RNA channel but away from the active site. The inhibitor prevents RNA synthesis by physically blocking elongation and thus preventing synthesis of host bacterial proteins. Uses of Rifampicin Rifampicin is an antibiotic used to treat several types of bacterial infections including tuberculosis, mycobacterium avium complex, leprosy and legionnaires disease. It is always used together with other antibiotics with two notable exceptions when given as a second and treatment for latent tuberculosis and prevent Haemophilus influenza type B and meningococcal disease in people who have been exposed to those bacteria. It is used in combination with isoniazid and pyrazinamide for the treatment of tuberculosis. It is also used to treat non-tuberculosis mycobacterial infections including leprosy and mycobacterium cancasi. It should be taken on an empty stomach with a glass of water. It is generally taken either at least an hour before meals or two hours after meals. It may be given either by mouth or intravenously. The next drug is rifabutin. Rifabutin was discovered in 1975 and approved for medical use in 1992. It is a piperidyl derivative of the rifamycin. Mechanism of action. Rifabutin works by blocking RNA production in bacteria. Its effect on bacteria is based on DNA-dependent RNA polymerase blocking drug rifamycin S, a semi-synthetic derivative. Rifabutin is a primarily bactericidal antibiotic drug and now recommended as a primary line drug for mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is also used in the treatment of mycobacterium avium complex disease, a bacterial infection most commonly encountered in people with late stage AIDS. For active tuberculosis and latent tuberculosis, it is used with other antimycobacterial medications. And the last drug of this lesson is cycloserine. Cycloserine was discovered in 1954 from a type of streptomyces. It is chemically 4-amino 3-isoxazolidine-3-ON. It is a simple structure and consisting of a chiral center which has R configuration. 
It can be weaved as a cyclized version of serine with an oxidative loss of dihydrogen to form the nitrogen oxygen bond. It exists in equilibrium with its tautomeric enol form. See the structures given. It is a broad spectrum antibiotic. It is active against both gram positive and gram negative bacteria as well as against tuberculosis mycobacteria that are resistant to drugs of the first line group. Synthesis of cycloserine. Cycloserine can be synthesized both biosynthetically and synthetically. It is biosynthesized from the actinomycetes such as Streptomyces garifalus, Streptomyces orchidaceus and Streptomyces lavenduel. In a method of synthesis, it is from the ethyl ester of D-serine, the hydroxyl group of which is replaced with a chlorine atom when reacted with phosphorus pentachloride and subsequent reaction of the resulting product with hydroxylamine results in heterocyclization to the desired cycloserine. Cycloserine is a white or pale yellow crystalline powder, hygroscopic and freely soluble in water. It is stored in well-closed containers in a cool place. It is stable in alkaline solution but is destroyed rapidly at a neutral or acidic pH. Under mildly acidic conditions, it hydrolyzes to give hydroxylamine and D-serine. It is stable under basic conditions with the greatest stability at pH 11.5. Mechanism of Action Cycloserine acts as an antibiotic by inhibiting cell wall biosynthesis in bacteria. As an cyclic analog of D-alanine, cycloserine acts against two crucial enzymes important in the cytosolic stages of peptidoglycan synthesis. They are alanine resumase and D-alanine D-alanine lycase. The first enzyme, alanine resumase, is a pyridoxal 5-phosphate dependent enzyme which converts the L-alanine to the D-alanine form. The second enzyme, D-alanine D-alanine ligase, is involved in joining two of these D-alanine residues together by catalyzing the formation of the ATP-dependent D-alanine D-alanine dipeptide bond between the resulting D-alanine molecules. If both of these enzymes are inhibited, then D-alanine residues cannot form and previously formed D-alanine molecules cannot be joined together. This effectively leads to inhibition of peptidoglycan synthesis. Uses of cycloserine Cycloserine is sold under the brand name Ceromycin. For the treatment of tuberculosis, cycloserine is classified as a second-line drug. That is, its use is only considered if one or more first-line drugs cannot be used. Hence, cycloserine is restricted for use only against multiple drug-resistant and extensively drug-resistant strains of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Another reason for limited use of this drug is the neurological side effects it causes since it is able to penetrate into the central nervous system and cause headaches, drowsiness, depression, dizziness, vertigo, confusion, hyperirritability, psychosis, convulsions and shaking. Overdose of cycloserine may result in seizures and coma while alcohol consumption may increase the risk of seizures. Co-administration of pyridoxine can reduce the incidence of some of these CNS side effects that is convulsions caused by cycloserine. It is given by mouth. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the anti-tubercular antibiotics. In the next lesson, we will discuss the other two anti-tubercular antibiotics. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.